In 2012, an excavation began with the hope of finding the final resting place of King Richard III. Essentially, it was a historical missing persons case. Richard III was said to have been buried in the Greyfriars Friary in Leicester. Could we now, 500 years later, find and identify his remains? Before the project began, we knew that Richard was killed at the Battle of Bosworth, brought back to Leicester, and buried in the choir of the Church of the Greyfriars. But since this time, the precise location of his grave was lost, as the friary had been demolished. We know that he was age 32 when he died, and that in a contemporary source, he was described as having one shoulder higher than the other. Like any missing persons case, the conclusion as to the identity of the individual whose remains have been found must be based on all the strands of evidence coming together from the various disciplines. Some of which I think might be weapon related. The combination of historical evidence and the skill of archaeologists with decades of experience of working in Leicester led to a sound plan for the excavation and the complex archaeology being interpreted so quickly when the friary buildings were found. The examination of what came to be known as Skeleton One, recovered from the choir of the church, involved experts in the fields of osteology, forensic pathology, and forensic engineering, shedding light on the nature of the curvature of the spine and the wounds found on the remains. Radiocarbon and stable isotope experts carried out analysis of the diet and dated Skeleton One to the right period. Genealogical research led to the discovery of people related to Richard III in particular ways, which meant that they could act as comparators for DNA analysis, and a DNA match was found. So, we have found the remains of a youngish male from the right period, with multiple battle injuries, severe scoliosis of the spine in the choir of the Church of the Greyfriars, with a DNA match with known relatives. Bayesian analysis was then used to collate all of the evidence to put a statistical number on how likely it was that the remains were Richard's. This showed that there was a 99.999% probability, at its most conservative, that these were the remains of Richard III.